Hey, people, we're back, and, uh... Actually, I just got done ending the last recording. I just wanted to make sure what happens after you save. And, uh, we got, actually got a new email. I wonder what this is about. Um... If, yeah, it would be Leo's email. Alright, then. New system done. Net from the under. We! That's... Uh, we, that's myself and Sec, and Pirate developed a new system downloading data automatically to your PDA. From now on, information about Shadow Pokemon should arrive directly from people connected to the network. Check it out. Alright then. Um... Alright then, I guess we can go check it out. I kinda... Okay, now we're back. You can send me a email one time... One, one Pokemon... One email at a time, man. Or whatever you want to say, it, yeah. Then again, he kinda has to. Shadow Pokemon? Big guy, there's trouble. The Kid Network got word that a suspicious-looking Pokemon was spotted in Pirate Town. I'd like to give you—I'd like to give you the full story in person. So, can you come visit me? Sure, no problem. We'll definitely do that. As you know, we still have some more Shadow Pokemon to catch. Even if we did defeat the leader, that doesn't mean all the Shadow Pokemon are done with. Obviously. To Pirate Town. God, I never get tired of that bike. And to be quite honest, I hope you guys never do too. Alright then, I wonder who the, where this guy would be. I wonder if he's just back in the under again. Currently I see someone no, nobody knew around Pirate Town, so I guess I'll just go to the under. So yeah, been a while since we've been here to Pirate Town. I gotta say, I still love the, uh, the music in this game, and I always will. And got around to you. Yes, they will still fight you. And remember the Remoraid? We can now go all the way back to the very end and actually capture the Remoraid now. And I'll use the Master Ball glitch for that one because it's at level fucking 20. I couldn't hit it with Cut without hurting it. And ooh! The gate's open now. It wasn't open before. Was there any items in here? I guess not. I thought there was a few items in here. I think if you talk to them, you can battle them, and I don't feel like battling them, so... Because we got work to do. I wonder, should we talk with... Oh! Was that sludge here before? Okay, we already did that part of the game. Alright, then I guess we just go in here. I honestly don't know where I should go. It could have meant the uh, kids over in uh, the Pirate Town area or whatever. Yeah, I'm okay. Aw, uh, she likes Leo. And Leo doesn't like her because that's pedophilia. Technically. In my state, it's two years. Yeah, I read your email. <sighs> okay, then. So I guess we were supposed to go to the kids all the way up in Pirate? Alright, then. Sorry, like I said, this part of the game is blind to me, so, uh, yeah. I kind of did some of it, but not all of it. So, I mean, I didn't know as a kid, I, and I think there's, apparently there's a glitch that doesn't allow you to go to a certain area, and I think I might have hit that glitch, I'm not sure. So, yeah. And, uh, mostly it doesn't show the certain area, but I think you can still go to it. So we go and be careful. I'm gonna get my ass around you, too, because I honestly don't want to get caught by you. Alright, then. Again, love this jazz music. I'm gonna mess it though. Great track. No, I don't want to go to the hotel. See! Alright, Duking, you got some explaining to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sadly, some of these people just talk about the last game too much. Or, like, it's one of those games that I fucking hate, which it reverts you back to before because you still get to go back to, uh, Rogum Tower and fight the other, uh, Pokemon. Fight the bosses again. Alright then, please tell me you guys have something to tell me. There's this, there's this guy, Rogue, called Cal, who hangs out pirate entrance. It sounds like Cal recently battled Creepy Trainer. They say the Trainer used some weird Pokemon. I think you should have a talk with Cal about this. Wait, Cal? Please don't tell me it's, it's reverting me all the way back to the Mirror B saga of the game. And if you remember, Cal's the guy with, uh, uh, Furry. I mean, Furret. Yeah, that's what I meant. 
Alright then, Cal. What the fuck, man? Dude, you're not gonna win. I don't- I don't care what, you're not gonna win. See, you're not gonna win. Your Pokemon are- I mean, don't get me wrong, they're... funny enough, a little bit better than, um... Nazca ours, but, uh... Still not gonna win, buddy. So, yeah. Alright then, let's do this. Good, it only has keen eye. Alright then... Gonna be using... I think I'll use Drill Peck on the Grundle. And Earthquake should... I think Earthquake should take out Gardevoir. Should be just fine. Half its HP, and... Close. Not bad, to be quite honest, so let's do this. Almost. Alright, that's good. It's okay, in my opinion. Ooh, reflect. That'll take down some of the, uh... Physical... It'll, it raises defense. Pretty much. Ooh, that's some good damage. Alright, oh man, I would laugh so hard if he killed himself. Alright, Air Cutter, because that's obviously going to take him out. And then I think I'll use Crunch, because it is a Dark-type move. And Crunch! I hate how it takes a second for it to do it again, because it's trying to make it, the animation look different than Bite, which it really isn't. And Gardevoir was down. Life is better now. We didn't need Gardevoir anyway. Shift Tree, a Dark... Grass type again. Kind of weird. And Grunbill is down. That's what you get. And. Alright, damage, I guess. Could have done better. Ooh, I'm a champ! This guy has a lot of Pokemon just like Nascour. Did you steal them from him? Only Leo can use the. Snag Machine. I almost forgot what it was fucking called. <laughs> That's pretty sad. I've played this game for hours fucking now, because I still, need to, get, I still need, need to show you guys my save file. I have over 40 hours on this fucking game. Actually, I almost have over 41 hours. And I probably do now. And 62. That's how I like looking at it. 62. Damn, super effective and it didn't do anything. Ooh, Cross Chop. That's not... No, it'll be okay, I guess. Ow! Yeah, it'll be okay. Cross job is 120 damage, so... Yeah. Luckily, the flying type on zero makes it in effect... It makes it, um, do normal damage. So, yeah, anyway, Drill Peck again. You know you know what kept some of that down, too, was the, uh, Reflect. Reflect does major help for him, so, uh, yes. Alright, then. We'll just have to Earthquake your ass. And that should be enough to take him out. And if it's not, then I'm going to be pissed. Because then I have to revive. And okay, no. I'm good. Because then I have to revive Draco. And i got to remember to take him back to the Pokemon Center. Alright, Cal. You can do shit against me. Give me my information. Yes, it has. Now tell me about the Shadow Pokemon. Quillava? But that's a starter. Wait. Snagum hideout? Wait a second. The Snagum hideout, the former base of Team Snagum, that was completely destroyed in a catastrophic explosion. Yeah, I wonder how that happened. <laughs> yeah. Asses deserved it. Alright then. Gonna go heal up real fast. Then we go to the Snagum hideout. I'm actually surprised I'm doing this right away after the, uh... Right after the, uh, Rogum Tower. I think I'm gonna get tired, but I guess I'm doing okay. I am actually going to have a little bit of fun and switch out my Pokemon a bit. Actually, no, we'll have Mr. Batty up front with us, Tayo. Because another move you can do is use Helping Hand and use it with Surf. 
I really wish there'd be like a calculation that says how much Helping Hand helps out, because Helping Hand does help out. It helps out a lot more than you think it does. Oh, yeah, something else I need to show you guys while I'm here. Thank you, madam. Down here, which I didn't go through before, because when you go down here, guess what? Trade Center! That's right. You could not use it before in when you originally played. You could not use it until you actually beat the game. Because, obviously, like I said in my rant, they want you to use the Shadow Pokemon and help them. They don't want you to just be like, oh, yeah, I don't want this Pokemon. I'll just trade a bit. Um, no, thank you. But, yes, you can trade with uh, any of the five games. Ruby, Sapphire, um, Emerald, Fire Red, or Leaf Green. So, yes. Anyway, then... Now that we got that out of the way, we are now going to go to the Snagum Hideout. See, I never even battled Cal and when I originally played, so it just shows that I just wasn't really thinking. Time to Snagum Hideout. I hope we get a cool animation too. And nothing new to go back to the Snagum Hideout. I is surprised. Yep, here it is. I didn't want to do that. No. I was trying to go over there, but yeah. And here's the hideout that we destroyed. Because we're awesome! Another email, huh? PDA. Leo's email. Quilava Trainer. Hey, big guy. Cal wanted me to tell you that the Shadow Quilava's trainer is named Roscoe. Please take care. Roscoe. Huh. Kind of close to kind of saying red, almost. Kind of like Bluno. Wait, oh, they're the three guys in the beginning of the game at FNAC. That, obviously, if you picked the one you wanted, you got the shadow Pokemon of that uh, starter type. So, guess what? As you go through these, you're actually going to find out you can catch all three of them. Ain't that awesome? Uh, like, people want to doubt this game. Oh, Coliseum sucks. How many games allow you in the same fucking playthrough not going through the game two times, then trading it to another game, and then trading them back to yourself to actually get the starters. Not many Pokemon games I know of, so, uh, fuck you people. Fuck you all. You can go fuck yourselves when you say this game's bad. And they're kind enough to let us, uh, save. Very nice of them. Ooh, hey, Cypher. Wait, what? I have no idea who you are. Whatever works for you, buddy. And a ninja ass, level 55. God, these guys are high in level. I should be careful. Or I could get my ass kicked. And probably I will, to be quite honest. I'm sorry, but if I... Like I said, if I lose, I'm... Yeah, it's gonna suck. Alright then, I'm gonna use... Yeah, we'll use Surf and uh, Helping Hand. Anyway, as you can see, Helping Hand, and use it on Surf, and it makes it more powerful. Yeah, Sword Dance ain't gonna help you, buddy. Besides, even if I was worried, I'd just use Ice Beam on you. Surf, motherfucker! Bam. Almost had him. Almost had you, too. Light screen. You guys have to be assholes. Sadly, I don't think water is physical damage. Because damage is not dependent on what it looks like, but actually uh, the type. Whether it's uh, physical or not. So, yes. We'll just use Surf again and... Yeah, we we'll use Swift. Ooh, Silver Wind. Fuck. Tyo, you tank that shit. Fucking hell. That's the problem with Ninjask. It's probably the fastest Pokemon in the whole game. And its special ability makes it fucking faster every turn, so chances are that Pokemon's gonna beat you in speed sooner or later. Alright then. Beautifly, huh? Well, let's see how Beautifly looks against Surf! Not very well from my looks. And I think there's one more too. 
And a masquerade. Yeah, fuck you guys. You just you just want to kill my espion. Alright then, I'm gonna use the Ice Beam against the... Masquerain's a water type, so it'll just do normal damage. I'll just use Psych against Masquerain. And hopefully you can one-hit kill it. Come on, Tayo, you know you want to rape. Oh, critical hit. I feel bad for the Masquerain. Seriously, that gotta fucking hurt. And Ice Beam. And... Bam! You're dead, son. You're dead. Dun dun. To be quite honest, I don't remember who you are. Now, if you guys are wondering, why does this guy remember who we are? Well, keep this in mind. There, uh, this is the way you catch certain shadow Pokemon. Remember the Pillow Swine and the... I totally forgot what the other fucking Pokemon was that I didn't catch. Um, and the other Pokemon, not the Remorade. It actually, uh... I'm gonna use the cheap way to heal. Ta-da! Anyway, um... Yeah, this is where you're gonna catch all the Pokémon at, and if they're not gonna be here, they're gonna be in another area. So yeah, and as you can see, they're like dropping out of the fucking ceiling. Another PDA! God, dude! Or an email. Hi, it's Net! I analyzed Shadow Pokemon list again and discovered six more the addition are Tyranitar, obviously from the Evice, Mischievous, I had Mischievous too, Slugma, a fucking Slugma. How will we not get these Pokemon? Smeargle, I actually haven't gotten to Smeargle yet. Absol on the place, and Heracross, I have the Heracross. I'll send another update if I can't find any more. You're not really that much help, but I guess since he is decrypting it from a floppy disk, he's not going to get an order of the game, which I guess is actually kind of cool considering it kind of makes it realistic, though not really smart or useful. And obviously there's going to be someone blocking our way, and oh no, there isn't, I'm surprised. Elixir, nice. Cures all the PP of one Pokemon, I believe. Dude, these guys got soda machines? God. I think they got a little bit spoiled here. This, that, this place is actually pretty big. I'm, not, I'm kinda surprised. And, uh... Yeah. And if I do find the trainers, I'm just gonna say fuck it and use the Mask Ball Glitch. I'm sorry, I know some of you are gonna be pissed about that, but... You know what? I don't give two shits. I played in this game fairly, completely, and... Yeah. And I did before, too. I never I never knew about the Mask Ball Glitch. I wasted it on the fucking Tri-Pass. The HM Slave. I'm like, oh, well, he has a lot of Pokemon, I guess I can be smart, use it against him, and then if I have to go to the tower again, it won't be that big of a deal. Yeah, fuck myself up big time. So that really pissed my ass off. So anyway, I'm gonna fight you. I'm surprised, though, he didn't have us actually walk up to us and fight us. Poochiana, which is the Pokemon I'm talking about when I said I had a little childhood thing with that, with the dog. Because it looks very much like an Australian cattle dog. Well, I think I've talked about this before. Sad story, and there's one of my dogs talking. And actually, I think that's my Australian cattle dog talking. Uh, if you want to know about the story in the end, I ended up getting another dog from the same litter. So there you go. Cute ending for me. So, yes. And yeah, we gotta be careful, though. They're both dark types, and we have Tayo out, so... Hopefully, uh, Surf can take it out, especially with Helping Hand. Though, if it happens just like before, it might not work, but, uh, cross your fingers, people. Possibly could have used, uh, Swift with it, too. And dead. Alright, then one of them's down, that's good. Sorry, Buchiana, you're so cute. And, ooh, close, almost had it. Well, not much we can do. Lanoon! We already know about Lanoon, not fucking talking about it. Swagger, ooh. Alright then, use it against who you want. Attack raises, but... It becomes confused. There's also there's also a special attack version in the future, and I don't know if it's a, you can actually, it has it in this game too, but it is in future games. And I'm going to use Swift. 
because it raised our attack and normal is and swift is a type move. And no, of course not. When your Pokemon are confused, they hit themselves 99% of the time. Reminds me of this funny fucking picture, though. And there's one thing about Pokemon, you can get some fucking hilarious pictures. <laughs> one of my favorite ones was about the confusion sitting there going, Alright, Typhlosion, your chance to shine. Alright then, what did he say? I think he said hit yourself in the face. Alright, your, your time to shine, Typhlosion. He punches himself in the face. <laughs> really funny. I saved most of those ones. And a Kadabra. Huh. Sadly, we got the dark. Ooh, he's using Dig. Not too bad, but could be a problem. Alright then, slash against Kadabra. And we be using Swift. And it won't hit the. I, I don't even know why it misses the Lanoon. Swift's supposed to never miss it. It, it hit him in uh, Pokemon Stadium. Damn, that did a lot of power. And you are out of there, buddy. Oh no, you did a little bit of damage. I'm not that worried, to be quite honest. Anyway, side beam, and ooh, snap out of confusion. Thank you, Tayo. I always liked you the most. Nothing against you, Mr. Buddy. And you're dead. You're dead, son. You're dead. I'm not saying it like I said it before. I don't know why. I'm just kind of out of it right now. Kind of. Not really. I'm just making up excuses. Of course Leo has awesome Pokemon. Just look at him. You think he's going to be the kind of guy who's pull pulling out level 60 Magikarp? Where did I find him? I trained them, motherfucker. Leo do it the, the, Leo do it the legit way. And because Tayo's such a good Pokemon, I'm going to heal her. Or him. Actually, I've never even checked out all the genders. So, Draco is the only, uh, girl Pokemon. Kinda funny in my opinion. Kinda funny.